recognizing our seniors. And before I call them um, up, I'm going to just give a couple quick highlights of the senior class. This senior class won the ITA All Academic Team Award in 2012 and will hopefully win it again this year. Lots of pressure on you, ladies. Uh, they were the first women's team to get ranked in the ITA rankings, and they never had a losing season while they were here at Allegheny. All right, up first, Kathleen McBride. Kathleen has 11 singles wins and 27 doubles wins for a total of 38 victories. She was captain her junior and senior year, and Kathleen, her plans after graduation are to seek employment in the field of environmental science. Again, Kathleen McBride. singles wins and 45 doubles wins for a combined total of 81 victories. She was an ITA Scholar Athlete in 2013. She's captain her junior and senior year and she plans to continue her education in a sports field with options including sports psychology or nutrition. Laura's Field. Cards today, Overland will be red. Today is senior day. We'll be honoring our senior class and we'll be bringing everybody up one at a time. But first, let me give you a few highlights of this senior class. They produced our highest regional ranking ever and our highest ranked player and highest ranked doubles team ever. They also produced the best start in program history with a 10 0 start for the 2012 2013 season. They also won the ITA National Sportsmanship Team Award for the month of March and they were named an ITA All-Academic Team two years in a row, and hopefully three years in a row. All right, let's first start off by honoring Kevin Snyder. Kevin Snyder was undefeated in dual matches, and he had a combined seven wins in his career. He was an ITA Scholar Athlete 2013. He was on the SAC Exec Board, NCAC Representative 2012-2013, Gold Rush Chairperson 2013-2014, and NCAC SAC Vice President 2013 and 14. Kevin plans to teach history at a prep school after graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Slander. We have Frank Moscone. Frank had 30 singles wins and 50 doubles victories for a combined win total of 80 victories. He is currently third all-time for single season doubles victories. He, is, he was second team all-conference in doubles for the 2013 season. He was an ITA scholar athlete in 2013. He plans to move back to New York and either get a job there or help his mom open her dream restaurant. Frank Moscone. <laughs> Charlie Murphy. Charlie has 40 singles wins and 21 doubles wins for a combined win total of 61. He was an ITA Scholar Athlete for the 2013 season. He was captain during his senior year. Charlie will most likely be working in Washington, D.C., trying to improve his Arabic and find a job in international affairs in the Middle East. Charlie Murphy. And finally, we have Patrick Cole. Pat currently holds a career singles record with 79 wins. He holds a career doubles record with 73 wins. And he holds a career combined record with 152 wins. He also holds the single season combined wins record with 44. And he is on pace to possibly break his own record. He also holds the single season doubles record with partner Tyler Triolo at 22 wins last year. And they are on pace to possibly break their own record this year. He's a five-time NCAC Player of the Week, three-time NCAC First Team Singles, two-time NCAC Second Team Doubles, and NCAC Newcomer of the Year his freshman year. He is the only active player in the conference named the NCAC All-Decade Team. 
He was 2013 Central Region Arthur Ashe Junior Leadership and Sportsmanship Award winner. He is currently the highest ranked player we've ever had in the ITA rankings. Two time scholar athlete, three year captain, two years on the SAC executive board as president and Gold Rush chair. After graduation, Patrick hopes to find a job in the business field and then get an MBA. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Holt.